is an ideal position to attack a knee bar. You've got one leg in, you just need to get that other one over or around. Yes, we have attacks out of bottom half guard, but our favorite thing to do out of bottom half guard is sweep and get to top half guard where we can do all of our knee bar attacks. So today we're gonna go over what we call the Fedor series. And we're gonna show you three different sweeps that we use in sequence together to help us get back on top and attack our knee bars. We call this our Fedor series because Fedor used a lot of this in Pride. And it works specifically when the guy has this cross face and is in tight on you here in, um, in half guard. So what I'm gonna do, we call this Fedor number one, is I'm gonna look and see where this leg is. And if this leg is right here, then I've got a really nice sweep from the beginning. Now, if you do a lot of nogi, maybe you're wondering why his leg might be here. Um, he wants to prevent me from recomposing my half guard, right? If I can get this in, or recomposing my full guard. If I can get this in, I can get my full guard back. So he'll put this here. Now in D, which is where a lot of people's base comes out of, he can use this arm on this side to pin my D to the mat and I'm not gonna be able to do this move in D. But in no gi, it's a really easy sweep and you'd be amazed how often it's available just because of people's gi habits. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna block this arm here, or this leg here with my arm. If his leg is out here like this, I can feel this, it's not gonna work, I'm gonna go for something else or maybe I'm just gonna use this for Kazushi. But if it's here and tight, I'm just here, I'm gonna take this leg and I'm gonna do a nice big bridge and I'm gonna hit him in the ear with my bicep all at the same time. So I'm here, I can kind of feel that his leg is in the right spot with my elbow here and I'm just gonna bump and take him over. Now when I get over, this might seem like a silly thing to have to remind people of, but I need to settle into this position before I try to do anything else. Otherwise, when I sweep him over, he can do exactly the same thing and take me back. <laughs> the second reaction he can give me is to not give me this space here. But sometimes people, especially if they're not 10th planet, will leave this foot down here, right? So what I can do here is I'm not necessarily gonna look for a lockdown because he's really tight on me in the top here. And that's a fight I really don't wanna get into. But what I can do is I can switch my hook half guard here. I can stretch this leg out. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pin this on, which is already kind of stuck for me. And I'm gonna do the same bridge this way. So I'm posting on this leg, coming over and bridging, and once again, I'm gonna settle into my position here so that I don't get swept back. So the best position that he can take in half guard is gonna be this angle out here with this leg. He's not gonna let me get this other hook, even if I wanted to lock down. He's pretty stable here. So one doesn't work, and I can't get two to make it work. So what we're gonna use now is what we call Fedor three or variation of the John Wayne. What I need to do is I'm gonna post on this foot and I'm just gonna shrimp my hips just slightly in here so that I can get him out just a little bit. Now I'm gonna stomp this foot right next to his knee. I'm gonna cross over with my ankle and I'm gonna pinch my knee together. Now, I'm gonna gently just move him right over here. If you've ever felt a John Wayne sweeper done it, you know how easy this is to work. And I'm right back here in my top position. Now we're gonna show you how they all work together because by themselves, one may work as a trick, but it's a system, we put them all together and we're gonna put a new bar on the end of it for you. So if I wanna get Fedor one and he's kinda of not committing a whole lot to anything here, what I can do is I can use this John Wayne sweeper. I don't even need to shift my hips so much, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pinch my knees and I'm gonna to start to pull him this way. And he is gonna to have to stabilize, but look what happens to his leg. So I can kind of force him into this position too. So now that I've got him here, I'm gonna come back and do the same thing. So it works better as action reaction. I'm not gonna to try to force it here once he's stabilized. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move, hop over, and come into my top half guard. All right, secondly, if I wanna look for Fedor two, maybe, and maybe I can't get this leg in here, one of the things that I can do to try to get that now is go back to my Fedor one here, is move this here. Now you see how his leg has to kind of come up? As he's coming down, I'm gonna get this hook and this bridge and take him over. So if he's really stable and I can't really move him, he's, he's moving around a little bit maybe, the best thing that I can do is not stay still. If I just stay here, he's got a cross face, man. He's gonna pass me. So the best thing that I can do is just keep, just keep playing with these Kazushis, but play with them safely. So I need to make sure that this hook is always in and I'm just gonna kind of move back and forth between trying to sweep him in different directions. So here, here, here. What this is gonna cause him to do is see how spread out he got? 
and now I can get this John Wayne position right in here and take him over. So no matter which sweep I decide to use, for simplicity, I'm just gonna go with one. When I get over here, I'm still in a position where he has this grip on me and is still maybe holding me pretty tightly just to try to prevent the pass or something else. So what I wanna do now is I wanna take this arm from behind him and I wanna put it right on his neck. I'm gonna frame with both of these arms and I'm gonna pop up. Now this sometimes can be a fight and sometimes I can get that right in the choking spot and he's gonna let go just to alleviate that pressure. So I put it here, here, I break this open and I'm gonna look for his hands here. Now I can kick over, I can do a step back. We have a whole bunch of videos for those which I will link for you. But what I'm gonna do here to get this kick over, I'm just gonna straighten this leg out, raise my hips, I'm gonna kick over. And you can see most of the time when people are in half guard, they've got their half guard crossed just like this. Makes it very easy for me to grip my Vinny control. Here I'm gonna rock back, throw my Vinny lock on, straighten this leg out. If that doesn't work, I definitely can get back on top and I can try my Vinny lock on the other side. One of the other things that he can do to stop this sweep is start to lift his weight up and move his body around, right? So if I start to sweep here, he can move this arm in here. And that starts to open up underhooks and butterfly hooks and other things which we're gonna get into in our next set of videos. So make sure that you are subscribed and ring the bell so that you don't miss them.